So I'm sitting here, guys, um, in my best friend's SUV. I just have to show you this. That is the bumper of her car in the back seat. Um, I'll get to that in a second. I had a beautiful day. Happy Valentine's Day. I don't know what it's about. I think it's love and caring. I know if I was at my mom's house, I'd have woke up to a Valentine's Day basket, just like I do for Easter and all the other. I mean, President's Day, Hanukkah. <laughs> my mother just is like in love with me. I, I'm in love with her. I, my, my best friend started her fast today. I start mine tomorrow. So she didn't eat with me at the restaurant. That was weird. But I went to one of my favorite restaurants called Mackay on Broadway and Ocean. It was beautiful. And um, right next to the ocean. I love it. And we had a great time. Anyway, I'm going to get to the point. Okay, I'm vlogging from the car. My bet. I decided this morning that oh, I want to have a get together later tonight. I want to have people over. So she's like, I'm really tired. I don't. So I call. It's nine o'clock. I called and invited a bunch of people over to the house. They're all on their way. She just went to the grocery store with a mutual friend to pick up some stuff. I can't believe I did that because I am exhausted, and everybody's on their way. So if you're watching this and you're one of the people who were on your way, I'm sure we had a great time, playing the Wii and eating and drinking and chilling. I start my fast tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. But I want to share this quick story. So I'm, I don't know when they're coming back. So I want to share it quickly. So I'm driving. Okay. I'm driving the car. It's her car. And I'm driving. The guy we're with, the, the friend of ours, he wants to stop and use the bathroom because he had been drinking at the restaurant. We can't believe that he wants to stop and use the bathroom for the second time that we've been driving now. So anyway, we stop at this hotel in Beverly Hills. And as I drop him off, I drive around the corner. When I get around the corner, um, the entrance to the hotel is now closed. The guy next to me or behind me or wherever he came from must have thought that the entrance was still open and thought that I was just taking my time by you know, being idle, kind of, in front of the entrance. Well, he just swerves around me and it's closed. So not only does he... Um, is it closed? He sideswipes us and he hits the side of the car. His little beamer knocked the entire bumper off of this uh, SUV Lexus. It was crazy. So I'm sharing this story to say my best friend seemed mad at me or irritated or maybe she felt like if we went, went to use the bathroom then we, this wouldn't happen or whatever the case was. But the guy immediately acknowledged that it wasn't my fault and I felt like my best friend did not acknowledge that it wasn't my fault and it kind of was hurtful to me. Oh, she's back. she's back and I know she's gonna know I'm vlogging and that they're gonna be laughing when they come in but anyway I gotta finish this it was sort of hurtful to me so anyway I immediately my first reaction to something like that is to turn up the music and have a great time and sort of um life is short this kind of stuff happens you know and I I was proud of myself that I recognized that and um oh he doesn't know that I vlog so he's gonna see right now So, anyway, she knows what I'm doing. She'll see in a second. This is going to be so funny to watch back. So, anyway, I'm feeling like this is kind of, like, weird to me that, uh, you know, they're tripping. And I'm feeling like, gosh, after so many things that's happened to me in my life, this is just another life experience. This is just another life experience. And I'm feeling like... Um, it's okay. Not so much, let's not cry over spilled milk, but more of like, what can you do about it? It's just a car. The bumper's off. It's his fault. His insurance pays for it. We laugh about it later. See? We laugh about it later, and then we move on. So, the funny thing about it is, is I felt really uncomfortable, and I thought, I guess in my spoiled little way, I'm going home. I'm out of here. When we get home, I'm out of here. Then I remember the party that I planned, and halfway in the car, of course, being the best friend that she is, my best friend says, just in case you think I'm mad at you, I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad at the situation and frustrated. But I'm proud. I'm proud of myself, and, and I realized something, that it's not the best thing all the time to say to her or to anyone. It's, it's just stuff. Who cares? And it's also not the best thing to say... Um, to make her try to acknowledge that it's my fault. 
or to make anyone try to acknowledge what you're feeling or, or understand what you're feeling. Sometimes, oh, the better, the better is saying this, but sometimes you have to just say nothing. How about that? It feels so good to listen, listen to the music and just say nothing and know that you weren't wrong and you don't have to prove that to anybody. She and I are fresh out of relationships with other people. And, um, and we're just there for each other today. And so I had a great Valentine's Day. I had a really great Valentine's Day. And, um, and, oh, sorry. And so, anyway, you guys are leaving amazing comments. Some of you are not leaving them in the comment boxes. You're leaving them in the inbox, which is beautiful. Because, um, because it's not for me that I could you move for a second? Seriously. 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 Okay. Because it's not for you, me, that you would leave a comment or that I would want you to leave a comment for other people to see. I'm just saying that some of the comments are so deep and spiritual and personal that if you make other people feel comfortable to do it, maybe they can then share their story. Maybe you can make friends that way. But other than that, leaving them in my inbox is fine with me, but they're beautiful. Long messages about telling me to keep Veta vlogging. Uh, make get better with better and vlog <laughs> so thank you um, I'm trying to share this with as many people as possible it's a part of me I, I want to tell you about the Valentine's Day gifts that I did get but I want to tell you that tomorrow and then I guess that's when we'll start getting into who I am and where I come from uh, but it's not my show it's not just for me I just wanted to share the story about the bumper and say that I'm really excited I felt my spine extend again and it's like I'm growing I'm growing I'm seeing other things for how they are and what they are and the guy was apologetic he knew he was wrong the other driver and you move forward you don't you don't hold on to those things and it felt so good so I'll hike I'll go to Agape I'll pray and I'll meditate I'll start my fast tomorrow I'm thrilled thrilled love you guys so much more than you know. I'm appreciative. I'm, I'm, I'm available. And God is telling me right now to say to use your ability. So I don't know if that's for someone or for everyone. I think it's for everyone. But it might be specifically for someone. So just take that for whatever it is. But use your ability. God, God just said to me to say that. So use your ability. Um, peace. I gotta go. There'd just be an extra but. Mm. What you doing? I'm Veta vlogging. And what you watching? I'm watching Veta vlogging. We Veta vlogging? Yeah, we Veta vlogging. We Veta vlogging. Hey. Shout out to Terry. This is my third and last shout out, but I want to let you know you start every episode with a theme song, and I thought, good, that's so dope, but I don't need a theme song. I'm not going to have a theme song. Terry's going to think that I'm copying her if I have a theme song. Blah, 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 blah. And then my friend comes with this, what you doing? I'm very blah again. So once I get it all together, I will, I will too have a little theme song. But Terry, where are you? Where are you? All right, that's enough is enough. Anyone who's in LA, go to the Pan African Film Festival tomorrow and watch Skin S K I N. Look at uh, P A F F dot org or dot com. Find out the screening times. Check Skin out. I'm going again tomorrow.